guys, my name is Clay Wong and we are back with another video. Today we are driving a very special vehicle. This car in question is none other than the fabled Ford Falcon FGX XR6 Sprint. This is the last, final and quite frankly the ultimate iteration of the iconic Falcon. And this car sports the legendary turbocharged inline six Barra engine. It currently holds the record for the most powerful six ever built here in Australia. And with only 550 cars ever made, this is truly the swan song of Ford Australia. I can't wait to experience what this car is all about. It truly is a monumental vehicle in Australian history. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more epic cars like this. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. <laughs> when you're behind the wheel of this car, you feel all that performance that Ford has implemented into this FGX. And straight away, you feel all of that power. It really throws you into the back of the seat. This car is so strong down low and it builds right through the rev range. It's intense and then on upshift you hear those farts and it's not a DSG transmission. This is a ZF 6 speed automatic and it still has those tones of the farting DSG which sound really great in addition to all the noises coming from the Barra engine. Most people are quick to judge and say that the motor has been completely lifted from the FPV F6 but Ford denies this completely with a high compression motor and components added from the FPV range including bigger injectors a thicker intercooler as well as a larger turbocharger a completely redesigned exhaust as well as a beautiful carbon fiber cold air intake the Sprint makes 370 kilowatts on overboost and in normal mode it makes 325 kilowatts this is blisteringly fast when you compare it against the previous FPV F6. That car only made 310 kilowatts. traction so easily the roads and the condition of the tarmac is a little bit wet and still it hooks up perfectly fine and in every single gear that you're in this car is capable of churning out so much power it's a different boost by gear system and every single time you put it through each gear it unlocks a new level of boost every time you go higher in speed this car is just beckoning you with your confidence and what you believe in your driving ability. It's quite an entertaining experience and after hearing Ford claim time and time again that this is the greatest inline six that they've ever made, well I'm here to tell you that they have truly delivered. Anyone will be able to tell the performance behind this car is truly sensational. It's the greatest barra they have ever made and you have to remember that this car is still bone stock factory. As you have seen in some of my other Ford Barra reviews, this car can quite easily achieve 400 to 450 kilowatts at the wheels with a set of injectors and just a tune. And if you want to take this car to extreme levels and with a little bit of money, you can achieve a thousand horsepower. No worries. This motor is such a capable engine. <laughs> This car is so fast and even with all this power behind this vehicle it doesn't take away the fact that it's still such a great daily driver. It's no different to your standard FGX or XR6. This car really still has those elements about it that on the flip side you could really take this car out for daily driving duties. It's got the Sync 2 here in the interior and it's got what you know about 
the XR6 Falcon. So you've got that big steering wheel here, you've got a clear tachometer design, you've got the ZF six-speed automatic transmission, which is a very smooth shifting transmission, and it's quite quick to navigate through the gears as well. But in saying that, there are some components of the car which are a bit lacking. You've got some cheap classically bits on the dashboard as well as the door panels here, and you can really feel that they've kind of lifted it from the economy cars in their lineup although they have added some sprint touches to make it a little bit more unique and special so at the back of the seat here you can see the sprint logo embossed you've got some black contrasting panels here to make it a little bit more upmarket as well if you are coming from the previous fg or even a ba or bf this car is no different when you turn everything down you close up all the windows this car has a sense of normality behind it which is really quite sublime and when you're driving this car spiritedly it still enhances that driving experience one step further because the suspension is firm but it's not crashy and it's not too stiff they've really achieved something great here the car still isn't as agile as the German counterparts it's not light it's a heavy vehicle this car weighs 1.8 tons it's a huge monster of a car and it's a four-door spacious super sedan and if you've got passengers in here you can chuck all of them in this car with you and they can enjoy the ride that this sprint represents but there is a huge elephant in the room and that is this automatic transmission in this car you can't have a driver's car with an automatic transmission and it's a real shame that they've only gone to putting an automatic in the Sprint because if you look at the XR8 Sprint those cars came in a 6-speed manual as well but if you want to compare the XR6 Sprint with the XR8 Sprint that came out at the same time this car would outperform the XR8 Sprint it's a more expensive car and it's also a faster car down on paper but the barrel behind this car really showcases how great this car really is here we go <laughs> the overall aesthetic of the XR6 Sprint with the black wheels and the black lip spoiler combined with the white paintwork really looks as though that this car means business. The upgrades on the XR6 Sprint are all catered around the idea of performance and driving and reviewing this car out here today it really showcases that this is the best driving Falcon Australia has ever made. This car is numbered 447 of the 500 cars produced here in Australia and 50 that have been shipped over to New Zealand. It's a very rare vehicle and it's the last of its kind. A huge thank you goes to the owner Stuart for letting me drive one of his pride and joys. And the reason that I'm saying that is because he has a very fast manual transmission F6 that we're going to be featuring on this channel real soon. And you don't want to miss out on that. So if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. In the comments below, tell me what you like about the Ford Falcon FGX XR6 Spritz. And as well as that, please consider subscribing because it really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now.